Uh, Greetings, Revive Nations Global Church. Hallelujah. What a beautiful season we've crossed into. Thank you to everyone who is joining us one more time to pray for a global revival around the world. It's a season that we've come into where the prophet has brought us to, uh, into a season where we can come together and, and pray for the next three months. Remember, we're joining uh, twice a day. If you, if you can do it twice a day, we're at least once a day. We'll be jo joining in the evening and also in the afternoon, uh, 10 o'clock here in Canada, Eastern Standard Time. And then we'll also be joining at 1230 in the day. Uh, today, I hope your hearts are on fire and that you're ready to pray one more time. We're going to pray for revival. And what an incredible time to be able to pray for revival right after we just saw the Ottawa service of what God has done there, about how God released those four angels. And then it was a fifth angel. And that brought in such a wind and, and yeah. rivers that blew into the room. Yeah. And encounters have been ah, released to us. And as the prophet on. said, you will even see, some of you will even see Jesus. Yeah. We're claiming that revival. Yeah. Come on. Revive Nations Global Church, we're claiming that we will see Jesus. We are claiming that our spirits are one more time going to be set on fire. One more time, we're going to become the greatly yes, beloved yes. of the Lord. Exactly. If that is that is your desire, if that is what you are pursuing, if you are pursuing to be set on fire over these next three months, contending for a global revival, comment in the comments below. Say, that's what I'm claiming. That's for me. And we're going to get started in praying tonight. Tonight, our revival prayer points, we're going to pray. And we're going to start by praying for a personal revival. You know, before we contend for a global revival, revival has to start with us. Revival has to be birthed from fire. So for it to be birthed from fire, that fire has to first be inside of me. Yes, we have Jesus, just like many other people around the world have Jesus. But we need to be set on fire first. Our hearts need to be on fire. There has to be a burning inside of our spirit. There has to be a groaning for us to be transformed, for us to encounter the living waters, for us to encounter the fire from heaven, and for us to be revived. We don't want to be stagnant. We won't, don't want to stay the same. And I believe that if we are gathered here right now, like Revive Nations Global Church from around the world. It is not only to follow an instruction, but it is because you yourself are seeking and pursuing a revival as a Jesus lover. And so we're going to pray, Lord, revival starts with me. So I want you to first bring revival into me. I want you to send revival through me. If God sends revival into us, it's not just to spread revival, but that's to make us carriers of revival. That wherever, whatever atmosphere we are in, revival enters into that room can you imagine walking into a hospital and when you walk in revival walks in can you imagine walking into a funeral home and when you walk in revival walks in tonight we are going to pray lord send revival and send it through me let it be that when god looks down and when he begins to send revival that he finds us ready consistent standing by at our post saying lord lord send me ready to be used we want to be washed by the waters of revival. We want to be set on fire by the fire of revival. If that's your heart, I want you to begin to lift your voice and begin to pray. I want you to pray and say, Lord, send revival and start with me. Send revival. And when you send it, send it through me. Prayer. En condoloros y ando de reverencia, ambos tororos boros a cabo tarai o reverencia, asha kamba babara saca tala y reverencia. Yes, Lord, send it through me, send it through us, Father, send it through us, Father. Spirit of God, prepare us. Spirit of God, find us at our post. Spirit of God, blow a fresh wind upon us. Make us carriers of revival. Equip us to carry revival. One more time, soften our hearts. One more time, Lord. Breathe fresh breath into us, fresh life into us. E combo lo rosa no rayo, e so capa papara so catora e reverencia, e la di andaria de barasaia, a so cambo tolo rosa cato, e so capa barasa cato la e reverencia, ambo soio cotalayo, 
embure bere sianga tarayo asa papa para sakata e kondoloro sakata ra yere bere bere sia revive me o lord revive my heart lord take away everything that has made my heart hard everything that has made my heart dull everything that has made my heart cold over the past months, over the past years. Father, any part of me that is still religious, Lord, I want to be set free. I want complete and total deliverance, Father. I want to be made new. Revive me, Lord. Revive my heart. Speak to me in the morning. Speak to me in the afternoon. Speak to me in the nighttime. Lord, find me. Find me curled up by your fire. Find me walking towards your fire. Lord, find me groaning for your fire. Eko so combo toloro saya. Esho kambala radia kata. Esho combo toloro sataraya. Esho kamba babara saket. Iko toloro boro sataraya reveresia. Asho kamba raya reveresia. Embo toloro ya kaba babara sataraya. Eko boso kambo tarayo reveresiando. Embo sakaba babara so kato. E kombolo Father, even though I might have tasted fire before, I want to experience new levels of fire. I want to taste, Father, different waters, different waters, Father. Lord, your word says that rivers inside of my belly shall flow forth, Father. Lord, let those rivers begin to flow. Prophesy over yourself and say, rivers shall flow. Rivers shall flow. Father, let the rivers that are shut inside of us begin to flow. Begin to flow, begin to flow. Father, let the encounters come that cause the waters to flow. Let the encounters come that cause me to burn. Father, we want the new in us. We want the new in us. We want the new in us. Father, let us taste of something we've not tasted before. One more time, Lord, make our hearts expectant. One more time, make our hearts hungry. One more time, make our spirits thirsty. One more time, Father, let us come and drink. And let us find waters that satisfy and satisfy and satisfy. Father, bring us to a place where we drink and that there is no end. Let it be, Father, that the moment we begin to drink, Father, our spirit's thirst increases. Our spirit's hunger increases, Father. The deeper we go into it, make us more thirsty, make us more hungry. Father, remove apathy. Lord, remove ignorance, Father, from us, Father. We come to be made new, Father. Lord, revive us and make us new, Lord. Revive us and make us new. In Jesus' name, amen, 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 amen. Child of God, if, if you remember in, in Scripture, whenever the prophet would come into a city, they would ask him, are you coming with good news or are you coming with bad news? Because whenever the prophet came in, he was carrying the voice of God. He was carrying the hand of God. He was a carrier of the rivers of God. Now, when we come into our city, being, living in our city, dwelling in our city, we have to say, if revival comes to me first, then those rivers are inside my belly. Those rivers are inside of me. I am a carrier. So if my city needs to see revival, if my city is, is in need of an encounter from the Lord, if my city is in need of, of the miracles of the Lord to be poured out, that every lost heart comes to know the Lord, that every person that, that has, not had, has not had their encounter with Jesus, that they come to know the Lord, then it has to come through me. 
So if we had our personal revival, if there are rivers that have begun to be birthed inside of us and they've begun to move, they've gone from one point and now they're starting to move up. They're on the verge of coming out. Then child of God, you need to begin to contend for your city and say, Lord, whatever you have deposited inside of me, whatever stream you have made me part of, whatever you are doing in this city, Lord, whatever you are doing as part of my stream in Revive Nations Global Church in this season, Lord, use me to carry revival into my city. Lord, send yes. revival to my city. Yes, Lord. Child of God, if you want your city to experience a real revival. We don't want just the clapping of hands and we don't want just a few singing songs. We've seen that in our churches for too long. We want to experience a real raw revival. The real move of God. The, that, which is God that which God is birthing in this season. If you want your city to see that, I want you to comment your, your city's name down below. And say, my city, say your city's name, shall see revival. Say, I am in my city and I carry the waters of revival. I carry the rivers of revival. And because I stand in my city, I will contend for my city until my city sees a revival. Begin to pray. Lift your voice and say, Lord, send a revival to my city. And when you say your city, name your city when you pray for it. Child of God, are you ready to pray for your city? There are so many people in our city who don't want to go to church anymore until, until, until revival hits the city. When revival hits the city is when there is a Holy Ghost takeover. When the revival comes to the city is when they shut down football games, soccer games, cricket games. When revival comes to the city is when the churches fall back in love with Jesus Christ. When revival comes back to the city, it's when men of God, our hearts are restored. When the bride comes back to Jesus Christ and falls back in love with her. People of God, it's time to contend that our city one more time, falls in love with her first love, falls in love with our creator, falls in love with Jesus himself. Are you ready to pray for a real revival of intimacy, a real revival for the waters of life to begin to flow? I want you to lift your voice and begin to pray and contend for your city, naming your city. Are you ready to pray? Yes. If you're ready to pray, let's pray. One, two, three, prayer. Father, I stand in the gap for my city, for Montreal. Name your city. Name your city as you release the rivers of revival in your city. Say, Lord, the rivers of revival come to my city. Don't just ask for it. Begin to declare it. My city, Montreal, shall see revival one more time. Lord, in this season, as you are pouring out the rivers of revival, Lord, pass not my city, but come, Lord, make your dwelling place in my city. Make your habitation in my city. One more time, Lord, pour out the rivers of revival in my city. Lord, flow into my church. Flow into my city. Flow into the streets, Father. Lord, to begin to... Begin to make your footprint in my city. Begin to make your voice heard in my city. Father, begin to release a mighty move in my city, Father. Those who have never known you before, let their hearts begin to be drawn. Let their spirits begin to be drawn. And come into the house of God. Come into the area of encounter. Come into the birthplace of revival. We call to you, come. Come, come. We call to the lost. Come, come and encounter God. Come and encounter your Savior. Come encounter the fresh waters of revival. Those who were once in the house of God and no more are you in the house of God, we call to your spirits. Come. Scripture says, ask the Lord of the harvest. Lord of the harvest, we ask. Lord, we ask, we release angels to begin to stir in their hearts, to begin to stir in their spirits, Father. Lord, let them hear of the fresh move of God. Let them hear of revival that is being poured out. We call to you, come. Come into the house of God. Come and taste of these waters. Come and taste of revival. Come and meet Jesus one more time. 
come and have a real encounter with your Savior, with the lover of your soul. Come and be changed once and for all. Come and be transformed. Father, our cities need to have revival. Lord, the schools in our cities need a revival. Lord, we need to see revival even for our businesses. Lord, we need to see a revival in the churches. Eso candolorosa candarayo. En combolorosa cataraye reveresia. Isa camba babarasa cataraye reveresia. Father, if the churches see revival, then the bride will turn her heart back to you, Lord Jesus. For far too long, Father, you've been calling for the bride and we have not been coming. Father, it is a season, Lord, for the bride to turn her heart to you, Lord. Let the ears of the bride hear the sweet voice of Jesus calling her, Come, 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 come. Eso candolo yorosa taraya. Montreal, hear the bro- hear the Jesus calling you. Come. Ottawa, hear Jesus calling you. Come. Bangalore, hear Jesus calling you. Come. Mumbai, hear Jesus calling you. Come. Dubai, hear Jesus calling you. Come. E casa taray. Name your city. Name your city. Name your city. Come. 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 Lord, while you are pouring out revival, let this not just be a revival in a city, let it be a global revival, Father. Lord, let there be sound of revival that goes throughout all of the cities. Aso kapa papara so kato, eso kando lo yoro boro siandori ere beresia. Aso kamba babara so kato, ebo tolo roria kaba saia kateria. Eso kambo lo ro boro siandori ere beresia. Iso kamba babara sa kata, eke betele ere bere beresia. Aso kamba babara sa kata laia. Father, is it too much for us to believe? Is it too much for us to contend and to ask that even the political leaders of our cities, Father? begin to be saved is it too much to ask that even they begin to experience a revival lord that even the morals inside of them begin to shift that father even them sense their spirits being drawn to the house of god is it too much to ask lord that even in the night you begin to send them dreams lord i don't believe lord lord you say if you believe it shall be so father we ask lord even for our political leaders Lord, let them come to know you. Send revival, Lord. Send revival. Send revival. Eso cambo tolorosia cataraya. Lord, we call to politicians. Come. Political leaders, come into the house of God and be saved. Come into the house of God and receive your miracle. Come into the house of God and see that our God is true. Come and see that our God is real. Our God is not an idol. He is not fake. He is not made by man's hands. He is not a figment of man's imagination. But our God is real. He stands true for all of eternity past as He's been in existence. He's the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. There is no end to this God. One more time, Lord, we ask you blow upon our cities. One more time, visit our cities, Lord. Father, pour out your heart into our cities. Send a fresh move of God. Father, we call, Lord, that the rivers begin to move. Move, 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 move. In the worship, in the worship service, Father, let there be a fresh river that flows. Let dancing begin in the river. Let clapping begin in the river. Let shouts happen in the river. Let worship be birthed in the river. Those who lead the worship service become carriers of revival. Experience the river in your private time. Carry the river in to the house of God. Father, we call for the bride of Christ to come to the house, groaning, desiring something deeper, desiring the encounter, desiring to experience the fire of God. Let our hunger increase, Father. Let our hunger increase. Let our hunger increase from day to day. Increase. Increase, Father. We declare an increase. 
Eso kambo tolorosa tarayere merecia. Esa katarayera barasia. Lord, day by day, one step at a time. One step at a time, Father. One step at a time, let us increase. One step at a time, give us more and more land. One step at a time, more and more, Lord, more and more. Eso kandolo yoroborosa kataraya. Eshe kende reverebresia. One more time, Father, let the hearts of the bride become tender. One more time, Father, let us become weary and burdened with the sin that we tolerate in our lives. E komborosa kandara yereberesia. Arya kapapapara yereberesia. One more time, Father, let the heart of the bride burn. Let her heart burn, Father, let her heart burn. One more time, Father, let groaning come back, Lord. One more time, birth a groaning into our spirits. One more time, sow your bride in the city. One more time, sow us, Lord. Fill us up and send us. Eso kamba la raria kasiendo ri eremeresia. E kamba papa para. Eso kambo toro siendo ri eremeresia. One more time, Lord. One more time. Not in one city alone, Father, but across the world, Lord. Across the world, Lord. Across the world. Esa kara rariando. Esa papa pa. E kamba tatara ri eremeresia. Anko ndoloro borosi anka teri erebere. Asa pa 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 pa. Embo torosi anka tarai ereberesia. Haba tatara ereberesia. Anko tarai ereberesia. Eya ya ya ya. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. 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 You know. I don't. I can't speak for everywhere around the world. But I, in, I've seen many people who have gone to church. And they've stopped going to church because. They said uh, they never saw Jesus there. They, they never had their encounter. And where we have our encounter, we have our encounter in the word of God. When the word of God comes to us, we encounter the word. We encounter Jesus. You cannot have an encounter without there being word. There has to be Jesus who comes for you to have that encounter. And the sad state is that many, many of uh, leaders around the world who we lead the church and and we sometimes walk away for whatever reason from pursuing our daily encounters messages sometimes become watered down where it becomes just about preaching a message worship becomes just about singing songs and it hasn't it hasn't it hasn't stayed at the place of of having our daily encounters we want to go back to daily encounters. Yes. We need the leaders of the church to go back to daily encounters. People of God, would you join with me in contending for your pastor, in contending for your pastor's wife, in contending for your pastor's family, contend for your leaders, contend for your worship leaders, those that serve in your house. Pray that they have go back to having daily encounters. If they have a deep encounter, then your encounter will follow suit. It has to be that if God has anointed them to stand on the platform and bring their word, then God has called them to become a carrier of revival to every listening ear. We need the pastors of this world. We need prophets and evangelists and apostles and all of us. To have daily encounters where we are not just seeking to feel good, but we want encounters. We want what the prophet has declared. We want to have encounters of a different kind, of a different level. We want to experience that. We need our pastors and leaders to experience that so that the church can have that. Can you imagine in the church? Where everyone is just lost in God. No one caring anymore what the person beside them is thinking. No one caring any caring anymore what the person beside them is doing. Can you imagine with everybody on their knees, on their faces, weeping, calling out, crying, laughing, just shouting for the glory of God that has filled the place. We need that. We need that. And for us to have that, we need our leaders to have that. We need them to have it in their homes. 
We need them to have it in their office. We need them to have it in their cars. We need them to carry that into the service. And we believe that if our man of God carries that into the service, then all those that are in the service will receive the same. So right now, I want you to begin to lift your voice. Uh, if, you, uh, if you have the opportunity, even mention the name of your man of God in the comments below and pray that you are contending for them. They will be a carrier of revival, that they shall have revival, a personal revival. Let them be the first one if it comes to it. Let them be a carrier of the waters of revival. Let, them, let it be that when they walk into the service, demons begin to manifest. Let it be that when they walk into the service, breakthroughs begin to happen. Let it be that when they walk into the service, people begin to break down and weep because the weight and the glory of God that fills the room. Come on, right now, begin to lift your voice and begin to declare revival over your pastor. He shall have encounters. His wife shall have encounters. Their children shall have encounters. Encounters in the day, encounters in the night. Let it be that when they encounter God, that they don't leave, that they stay there and stay there and stay there till they become carriers of a river, carriers of a fire. Are you ready to pray? Lift your voice and begin to pray. Declare revival over your man of God. I bolorosa kapapa esho kandolorosi ando rieberesia i kapapa barasa e kombolorosi ando rieberesia e papa parasa kata e kombolorosi ando rieberesia ankata esho kapapa barasa tala rieberesia father every demon that has been bringing lukewarmness fatigue to our to the men of god every spirit that has been trying to bring this depression or discouragement to the men of god father we break the those holds father let the heart of the men of God begin to increase with a fire let begin to set their hearts on fire begin to set their minds on fire begin to set their spirits on fire let them begin to hear the call of God back to the inner chambers back to the point of intimacy back to the point of setting your eyes on Jesus father let every distraction in their life be lifted every distraction in the heart be lifted one more time, let the word of God come alive to you. One more time, let the word of God come alive to you. One more time, see between the black and white. One more time, let the revelations of God be open to you. Let every veil on the heart be lifted. Let pride come down. Arrogance come down. Humility come. Father, send mantles of humility upon our men of God. God. Father, all around the world, send mantles of humility upon the men of God. Revelation come. Revelation come. Eso cambo tolorosa. E calai ereberesia. Ebo tatarai erebarasa kata. E gomboloro borosi andor ereberesia. Isa kamba babaraya. E cobolorosa. Father, we ask, Lord, that you would release daily encounters, Lord. Daily encounters, Lord, in the secret place. Lord, let the encounters of the secret place pour out into encounters in the public place, Lord. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Father, let the secret place encounters pour into the public place, Lord. Hey, yeah, kasaya. Embo tolorosi anduri reveresia. Asaya kambo tolorosi anduri reveresia. Father, let the rivers flow. Let them flow. Let them flow. Let them flow. Hey, yeah, rabaraya. Let he who is empty come and drink. Hey, yeah, so kambo tolorosi anduraya. Father, those who are empty men of God who have just been going on and going going on and going on and need a fresh taste of water need a fresh drink lord pour out revival into their hearts father make your way into the inner room make your way behind closed doors father where the heart has become hardened father one more time let there be a heart of flesh let there be a heart of flesh father you're the god who closes up water even in rock father father bring a hearts of flesh Lord, restore our men of God. Strengthen our men of God. One more time, let them stand.
stand on the altar and be carriers of fire. Let them open their mouth and let rivers come out. Let fire come out. Let the word that is alive come out. Father, let power flow from them. Let power flow. Aso kamba papa. Esa kandala yoreberesia. Akamba papa papa. One more time, Father. Let the walls in the room where they stand, Father, encounter God. Esa katala yoreberesia. Father, let them tell the tale that they encountered Jesus. E korianga sayonda la yoreberesia. Ambo totorosia kataraya. Ele reba raba baba. Eso kambo toroyo. In the marketplace, let them meet the men of God and have an encounter. Esa kando rosi anga tala yereberesia. Ako tala yorabarayo. Eso kombo toroborosi akataraya. Father, in the taxis, in the cars, in the rickshaw, Father, when they get in there, let there be encounters, Father. Let there be mighty deliverances. Embo torosi anga tala yoreberesia. Asa katala yereberesia. Lord, we pray, carry us, men of God. Carry our men of God. Let them be, let them walk carrying revival. Even in stealth mode, Father. Eso candorosi ankataraya. Let them rise up, Father, with great strength, Father. En gondolorosi andaraya reveresia. Asa kamba papa papa. Let great strength come into your bones. Great strength come into your spirit. Let your heart one more time be fortified in the Lord. Esa kamba taraya reveresia. Father, let identity come to them, Father. Insecurity leave. Past hurts leave. Doubts leave. One more time, be carriers of the raw power of God. Ambo lorosi anka tara yoreberesia. Asa katata. Ebo torosi anka tara yoreberesia. Father, we know this is our season. This is our time. Father, this is a season when you are pouring out revival. Lord, you did it once in this house. But Father, now you are doing it across the world. Father, we thank you for the stream. And Lord, we ask, Father, release angels of revival to us, Father. Lord, wherever we are, in whatever situation we stand, Father, let angels of revival be released to us, we ask. Esa candala yo reberesia. E condoloro borosia cataraya. Angels of revival come. We release angels of revival. We release angels of revival. We release angels of revival. O se candele rebaraya. Aso kamba babaraya. E cataraya reberesia. That which has been a long time standing and waiting. Receive the call. Angels of revival be released to us. Esa candoro ye reberesia. Hamba babaraya. Father, divine partnership for revival to flow through the land divine partnership for revival to flow through the world eso candolorosi sianga tarai reberesia asha kapa paparaya elo riangas oriendoria Enkambaraba babaraso hasa kata tata e koloro ria kaburayo iso moto rosi ankorayo risia isho kapapa e loro raria kabarayo iso ndoro sandorayo rabarayo isia kapapa asa kamba babaraso koto i boloro si anka tarayo reberesia i kapapa parayo reberesia andarayo e soko boloro sa tarayere papapa e kambarayere beresia i botoloro sa tarayo Reberesia Kasaya, Esho Kamba Babarasata, E Comboloro Borosa Tarayo, I Boros Yanga Tarayo Reberes Yangata, Esho Kapa Paparaye Reberes Yatulayo Reberayo, I Sholoro Siaka, Emboloro Yanga Tarayo, Elo Raria Baba Baba, Emboso Botoros Yandolayo, Engoloro Boros Yanduri Reberes Yakabarayo, Esho Kapa Papa, Esho Kamba Babarasata, Esho Loros Yanga Tarayo Reberesia. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 You know, when revival happens, when it begins to break forth, uh, there happens to be a lot of coverage. In the past, it was always covered in the newspapers, and then it would make it onto radio. People would come and they would hear about it, and they would go throughout the world, and they would begin to spread what God was doing from one city to another city to another city, and people would leave those cities and come to the place of revival because they wanted to see what God was doing. And with um, many of those who would come to see what God was doing, there were also many skeptics that would come. There would also be people that would come who were from the media, people who would come and they would cover it and they would share their own perspective. Sometimes they would give a twist coming from where they come from. We want to pray 
that Lord, now as you begin to send out revival into the land, Lord, we want to ask for favor with the media. We want to ask, Lord, that those that cover the revival, that those that, that take pictures or, or, or talk, have video of it, those that begin to uh, announce it and speak about it around the globe. Father, grant us favor with the media that they will not destroy the name of Christ. They will not destroy the revival that's happening, that they will not deter people from coming. But instead, they will be used to bring a great multitude back into the house of God. Amen. They will be used to take what is happening, what God what God is doing around the world, and that they will amplify it. Yeah. We want to use media for our advantage right now. We are, we are pursuing a global revival by this stream, by this platform. But we know that there's not just this platform. There's many other platforms that the media use around the world. We should be able to tap into those platforms and get the revival to spread like wildfire throughout the world. So we want to ask that God begins to open doors, that God begins to put the right people in place to hear about the revival, whose hearts have been prepared, whose spirits have been prepared to take the word of revival and to bring it to the next level, that they themselves would become tools in the hands of the Holy Spirit, tools for this revival, global tools to begin to propagate the gospel all around the world so let's begin to pray and contend that the media we have favor with the media that no media will be used to destroy the revival no media will be used to to de deter people from coming into the house of god to catch the fire or to be to be uh, to to, uh, to drink from the rivers of revival let's begin to pray lord grant us favor with the media lord grant us favor with the media those who are in media those who will speak about the revival grant us favor lord that they will stand up for the revival they will speak what is right and what is true about revival there will not be lies spoken about the revival but the truth will be spoken about revival let's begin to pray one two three prayer E butara yere bara, esa kamba la radianga to, eso kapa papa, esa kando lorosi ando yere beresia, isa kamba babarasa, e kopo tolorosi ango to yere beresia, aso kaba babara so kato, e kaba babara sa kata la yere beresia anga to dia, isha kaba babara so koto loroboro, i kabo sa yando ra yere beresia ka. Aso kombo baboro, shendo liere beresia. Ambo yato rayo, aso kopo baboro, aso kando loro sato. Esa kaba babara sata. Esha kando lo yoro boro si ando liere beresia. Father, grant us favor, grant us favor, Lord. Father, we ask let angels send, be sent ahead of us, Father. Lord, let no evil word be spoken about the revival. Let no wicked word be spoken about the revival. Father, put, begin to position people, Father, in the positions where they will speak about revival, where they will begin to push revival forward on all platforms, in all media, Father. Lord, those who begin to fight, who have fought revivals in the past, those whose heart are not with us, those who are sons of serpents, Father, let them not hear, let them not taste of the revival, Father, let them not come. But Father, let media begin to push your revival forward eso kando loro si akataraya embo toro boro sataraya father we ask for amplification by media embo toro si akataraya reberesia iso combo toro sataraya Father, that no demon shall take hold of the media. No demon shall begin to break down the work that is being done. Father, no demon shall begin to hold back what you are wanting to do, Father. Use the media. Use the media to push this forward. Eso candoloro. Embo la rabarasa. Eka bababarasa kato. Embo toloro si ando riere beresia. Abababarasa kata la yore beresia. Iso candoloro boro. Eka bababarasa kata la yore beresia. Kata riere beresia. Aso kambaraya. Embo soyo. Ambo toloro satorayo. Ika la rien kata la yora baraya. Eso kamba papa. Aso kotoloro si ando riere beresia. Aso riaka papa. Eso kambo lo yoro boro. En condolorosi anca tenere beresia asa kamba papa e cobotolorosa i che mere mere beresia anca tenere beresia ambolorosa tu i borosi ando liere beresia asho kamba babarasa kata eso combolorosa tu rai ure beresia i carianca babarasa eso combotolorosa kato 
Iboto rosia tu liere bresia. Arianka baba bara soko toto. Elo riaka baba baba. E kasoyo torosi endo liere bresia. Alarianka baba baba. E boto torosa tola yore bresia. I karianke te di barasi andrayo. E shoka bolorosa kapapa. E shoko tolorosi endo liere bresia anka tarayo. E lorosa kaba baba rasa kata. E kobo toloro borosa kato rayo reberesia. En combo toloro si anka te li reberesia. Asho kamba baba rasa kata la yo reberesia. Isho kobo loro borosa kato rayo reberesia. Isho talarari anka baba baba kebete reberesia. Isho loro borosa kaba. Esho kando lo yo robo si anka te li reberesia. Isa kamba baba rasa kata la reberesia. I kobo toloro sa kato rayo. I borosi endo li reberesia. Ambararian ka baba bara seketele re beresia iso kobo boboro shaka en kombo toloro borosian ka tele re beresia i botoloro borosa katala re beresia apa pa para shoko toro borosian do re beresia e basaya katala ya e bosa katala ya people of god we have been praying already for over 30 minutes we've been contending for revival in many areas now I invite you just to begin, just to continue to lift up your voices wherever you are and begin, continue to pray for whatever the Lord is putting on your heart. As the Lord leads you, contending and praying for a global revival, lift your voice and believe that the Lord is hearing your prayer and he is responding as you pray. God bless you and shalom. I want to do this because we want to do this for a long time. What we will do is we'll try our best to finish in 30 minutes. Uh, and then the rest of the 30 minutes or one hour or to midnight, we will allow you to be led by the Spirit of God. I don't know if any of you were there a few hours ago. We went live um, with our service in Ottawa. You could tell the nearness of God was there. You could tell the presence of God was taking over. You could tell the power of God was falling in a very unprecedented way. Um, I smell revival. I smell what God is doing. Uh, those, who do a, those who are part of it, you can already sense that the atmosphere is shifting. But I told them, it is not enough that we come to receive. We have to sow before we can receive. So this is your time to sow. So if you're tired, if you're exhausted, simply just sit in a place and go speaking in tongues. Lendo Brogonia said, the Lord, I'm so tired, but I'm going to stay here and, and seek your face. Okay, that's what we want to do. We want to do that. Um, every night, we're going to have a different man of God leading us. So make sure to join. Um, the same thing will be seen one more time in the afternoon at 12.30 because there are some people that are not able to join us um, at this time. They would prefer the afternoon time or whatever time zone. So that is EST 12.30. We will be having the same thing rebroadcasted and we'll be praying together. Okay, so make your best, do your best to be part of this time of prayer because Satan will do all he can to discourage you, to disappoint you, to make sure that you don't sow, so you don't qualify to reap. Okay, I said, give me three months. That's what I, what we heard from the Lord yesterday. So we want to continue doing that. For the next 30 minutes, we're going to um, continue to seek the Lord, continue to pray, but in your own pace, in your own house, without anybody leading you. So the first 30 minutes, I'd like a man of God to lead us. And the next 30 minutes, you continue to, to um, somebody, somebody's asking, will we be able to hear the tonight's word? Absolutely. We'll do our level best to try and put it up on the Shaju Matthew app as soon as possible. Look for uh, a, a title called the, the, the season or times and season, something around that. Okay, so you should be able to find tonight's word on that. All right, people of God, uh, thank you again, Pastor Steve. Let's appreciate him. Let's appreciate him. And we continue every night with with somebody leading us. Um, 
we might have to do a Wednesday service a little different for up to this three months. Um, I'll talk to Pastor Stephen, get back to you on, on the service will be on tomorrow for the Bible study will be on. But prayer, maybe we will keep for 10 o'clock so that everybody else globally can also partake of it. Mm, we'll see what we can do. We are, we, are, we are a growing ministry, so we move and change things according to the need of the hour. Okay, so I'm here. I'm going to be praying for some time as well. Um, so, so we usually keep the stream on till midnight. So feel free to rest. If you want to keep playing it in the background and, and continue, it's up to you. Um, you're free to pray as, you, as the Lord leads you. I love you all. I see a lot of pastors here tonight. I'm so appreciative of you. So appreciative of you. So appreciative. May the Lord bless you and your house and your children and spiritual. We will have great victory. I'll keep hearing. I'll keep coming back to you with what the Lord is saying. I love you so much. Enjoy.